talking about my lung surgery that I got done on January the 8th and so I'm just gonna go over what I got done everything about it my experience and all of that so let's just get started if you don't like seeing pictures from surgeries and stuff like that you can totally click out it's not that graphic honestly like if you've seen Grey's Anatomy it's probably not even as bad as that but basically what I got done was a vax mechanical pleurodesis which is a video assisted thoroscopic surgery and if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've gotten collapsed lungs two times before in the past. So my risk of getting another one was over 75%, which is really high and it can be really dangerous and life threatening. So my surgeon really pushed and said that I needed to get this surgery done. And basically what it is, is that they go in on the side that you've had the lung collapses. For me, it was my right. And they'll go between your ribs into your lung in three different spots. And what they did for me was that he looked and saw that I had a lot of damage on the top part of my lung. So he cut off that part of the lung. It will never grow back or anything. And then he stapled it back up. And then the rest of my lung had some blebs on it, which are air pockets that happen. Um, and that's what, like, if they burst, um, it causes a collapse. So he went in and he roughed up the rest of the lung. They scar it kind of using almost like a Brillo pad and the hope is that when it reheals it will heal to your lung cavity and you'll hopefully never have a collapse again or if you do it can never fully collapse so your risk of reoccurrence is usually less than 10% most people never have a problem again so hopefully that'll be me and then when you wake up you wake up with a chest tube because they need to make sure that your lung doesn't have any leaks and it doesn't heal wrong so my experience was actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, I went in on a Friday morning. My surgeon came to see me. He had to mark and put initials on the side that I was getting it done. And um, I got an IV in, obviously. And then they actually gave me an epidural catheter, which they do when you're awake, which is kind of creepy. So they go in and they put a needle into your spine in like the epidural cavity or space. And so they'll tape it to your back and then what it's supposed to do is make the area numb. I had that in basically the whole time I was there, which was really nice because when I woke up from the surgery, I'm telling you, like I barely had any pain, which is unbelievable because the other times I had the chest tube, it was miserable. And what it does is like every 30 minutes, I could press a button to administer more stuff in my back. And so that was really good. Basically the whole time I was there, it wasn't very bad. It was really surprising. And I had friends come visit me and stuff and family. Uh, my mom stayed with me the whole time. I didn't do that much because the medicine and makes you like out of it but then the last day was actually the worst because the night before I had taken out my IV because it had shifted like it was really painful so I took it out and then the next day when the nurse came to flush it out which they have to do um she said that they couldn't keep the epidural going if I didn't have an IV so I got the epidural um I couldn't use it anymore so then I got a lot of pain that day and I was pretty much miserable that whole last day I was there for five days and and so I was crying and just like felt awful that day, but overall it wasn't too bad. I had some clowns come visit me. Um, a dog came to visit me, which they do this because it was like a children's hospital. So that was pretty nice. The next few days afterwards, after I got discharged, I didn't get home till really late at night. Those few days afterwards were pretty miserable. I had oxycodone, which I had to take like every four hours. And so that was pretty much the worst of it. But overall, like I can't believe how well it went. I still get some pain on the side when I move certain ways or from breathing like really deep. But overall, hopefully it has worked and I'll never have anything happen again and I can just put this behind me like I've got it over with so we'll have to just see what happens but yeah I'm really surprised with how it went so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them down below if you've ever had anything like this happen to you before leave any questions you have down below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'm actually going to be making a second surgery video because I got two surgeries done on the same day. You can stay tuned for that. And that is all. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.